Hi, I'm here at the Winter Nam Show in Anaheim, California, with John from Behringer, who's got um, the X18, which is, what is it? <laughs> well, well, it's a tablet-controlled mixer. So we're showing it here with an iPad, but we're also planning uh, developing the app for Android as well. So you'll notice right away that we don't have a dock on here, and that's because for that reason, and also because we actually have the Wi-Fi module on here built right into the unit. So no configuration, no having to buy an extra router, although you can connect a router if you, if you desire. Uh, so you have built-in Wi-Fi, universal compatibility. Um, so that's kind of the story with the X18. Um, diving into some of the features, it's a, as you might guess, 18 input, 12 bus mixer. So how that breaks down is, uh, on the input side, we have 16 inputs here. These are quarter inch and XLR. The mic preamps here are the same Midas design mic preamps you're gonna find on our X32 consoles. So really high quality mic preamp. Um, and then your other two inputs are gonna come from the USB connectivity. So you have 18 inputs there. Uh, for your buses, you have six dedicated aux sends for monitor mixes, and they have dedicated outputs on the back. Those all actually have their own graphic EQ as well. So, um, And then you have your four dedicated effects sends. So you have the same effects processors that the X32 has, uh, but you have four of them instead of eight, and you have dedicated sends to those, but all the same effects and processing. Uh, so you have so that's 10 buses, and then of course you have your left, right. So 18 input, 12 bus, and that's kind of how it breaks down. Uh, as far as processing goes, it's all the same kind of processing that you're expecting to find on a digital mixer. You have, uh, you know, gates and EQs and compression on all your channels, in addition to all those reverbs, delays, and the 50 plus effects that the uh, X32 has to offer. Uh, one cool thing I'd like to point out also is that this is also going to be compatible with the new fir uh, 2.0 firmware from our X32, which means it's going to have features like a full RTA, um, you know, via the iPad. and. Um, one last thing is that on the back of here, we also have our alternate port, which will allow you to integrate with our P16 personal monitoring system, okay. or, or with the new active uh, with the new uh, acoustic integration that we have with our Turbo Sound IQ speakers. So that's going to be compatible with this as well. So it's like a little mini X32 uh, with in a killer small, uh, really affordable package because we're only going to be charging about 7.99 map for this guy. Wow, that's very cool. So um, yeah. when's this going to be shipping, do we know? Uh, we're hoping sometime Q2 or so, so hopefully sometime this summer our customers will have it in their hands. Brilliant. And do you know? Do you have any sort of idea of when the Android compatibility is going to be arriving? Hopefully right around the same time. Okay. It's all kind of in development right now. Sure. So, um, but we'll have, uh, you know, when, when all's said and done, we'll have iPad and Android support, and that's pretty exciting. Brilliant. Thanks very much, John. Thank you. Cheers.